referring back to the ammo shortage. It's still going on, by the way. <laughs> surprise, surprise. You know, our Real King, they actually have these old military boxes of 7.62, and they, I don't know how many rounds are in there. It's like over 1,000. 1,000 rounds for like 150 bucks, I believe. Or no, 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 no. it's $1,200. $1,200. $1, $1, but they don't have any more 7.62 by 39. Right now they got 7.62 by 54. That doesn't do me any good or him. Uh, they got 20. Yeah, they got a little bit of 308, probably like six boxes in there. They got some 22, of course. They always have 22. And they don't have anything else. They have some shotgun ammo, but not much. Other than that, they don't really have anything else. There are signs that the ammo shortage might be <clears throat> lightening up a hair around us. Um, you went to. The other yeah, guns actually, uh, our other, I'd say it's the biggest gun store around here in our area. They have no limit on 5.56 still. They have tons of, you know, 9 millimeter, 45, 5.56, 223, 762. They got tons of everything. Their, their shelves are fully stocked. And they actually up their, uh, their limit on how many rounds you're allowed to buy. It was usually 40 rounds for, I think, rifle ammo and then 50 rounds for handgun ammo and they raise it to 100 rounds a piece so that's nice that i don't know other than that i mean they they upped the limit yeah real king still has a two box limit so what's going on everybody today we're back at the freedom range with a beast of a revolver let's go have some fun come on i see a communist looking watermelon it looks pretty suspicious to me I think we're going to get rid of him. <laughs> Woo! All right. That's a dead commie melon right there. Yeah. I think we killed it. We're gonna get right back to shooting. We got a turkey as well. A frozen turkey, like 25 pounds or something like that. The gun that we're gonna be using, also we're gonna be shooting our AKs at these communist melons that we do not like. So, 454 Casol, Raging Bull, Taurus, this thing, let me tell you what, man, if I'm not mistaken, it's just under a 500 Smith & Wesson. This is a massive cartridge to massive gun. I don't, where's all my shells at? I lost them under the watermelon someplace. Uh, we'll show you when we get back up to the top. Uh, this gun is a mean, mean gun. I have to readjust the sights somehow. Uh, they got bumped. I knew you, before you could actually shoot this way out past 100 yards. It would hit a target. At 100 yards, no problem. You know, probably we're going to have some watermelons growing on the range now, but that's okay because we don't like buying the stupid things just to shoot them, but we will. Um, yeah, 454 Casol, or Casol, however you say it. Mean gun. It's a nasty, nasty machine. Somebody like me, it will blow your wrist apart, man. One hand with me. It hurts, it don't feel very good, but we do it for the videos, so that's all that matters. All right, enough of that. Let's continue to blow some stuff up. All right, so we're gonna talk about the ammo that this old beast takes. This is the second largest, I would say, at least, revolver cartridges in the world, at least. At least that I know of. I could be wrong, but I mean, when you, Hold on to this sucker with two hands, man. It's like a mule kicking you in the wrist. All right, so ignore all the background noises. There's a tree service back there about a football field length away from me. But I was just thinking to myself out here on the range that it's probably the best day to be a watermelon. I was just thinking that maybe the 454 eh, wasn't good enough, so I'm gonna use the old ack ack.
Hope you guys really appreciate what we're doing here. Ah, whole big turkey. We're gonna go set it up. Oh God, I got juice dripping all over me. So we have a um, around 20, 25 pound turkey right there. That um, and before anybody goes and complains that we're wasting a turkey, it's a very old turkey. It's probably it's months old and it, we it's never gonna get used. So. What we're gonna do is we hung it there and then we have an AK, it's a Wasser 10, 762 by 39, uh, steel case ammunition. And we're gonna shoot the 308 Federal Premium out of the M1A. We're gonna take one shot with the AK and one shot with the M1A, inspect the damage. We figure what we're trying to do here, cause I, I mean, I'm curious, this almost represents, uh, you could say it almost represents a torso of a, average size person the stomach area and from a what would you say 20 25 yards we're gonna shoot it from I'd say about yeah 15 20 something like that in a home defense situation say um, we're curious to see what the damage would be like on something that close or on somebody that close so uh, this is the best that we can do without having a ballistics dummy so uh, yeah we're gonna try to shoot this thing and uh, see what kind of damage it'll do. I imagine it's probably gonna tear it apart pretty good. So let's get to it. So this is really fascinating. I find it fascinating. You might not, you might just think it's cool, whatever. So here's the entrance wound. The entrance wound, and mind you, this is about 20 yards. Um, you can't, I mean, just barely even tell that there was anything there about the size of the bullet. You flip the bird over, it completely blew out the back of the bird. That is not good. If you were to get shot by that, you are in trouble, big time. Big trouble. Thickness of a, of a body. Yeah. So... <laughs> We're gonna do a 308 next and see what it does. Uh, I, I feel like it's gonna maybe do a little mo more damage and then we'll inspect the damage after that and see what we have. So we're gonna do the same thing. Um, with the M1. Um, now, obviously, if you're using one of these in a home defense situation, whatever but most of the time probably not you're probably not going to be using a 308 obviously you're going to have issues there with it going through walls and then you know other people are going to get hurt but i'm not condemning anybody that does use these in a home defense situation use whatever you want use a cannon you know second amendment right i'm just saying personally for me probably use a 556 five, and just be aware of your surroundings but we're going to see what this does i'm sure it's probably going to have a little bit more you know damage and uh, let's see what we can get going here. Yeah. So, obviously that was a little more damage. Okay, I'm trying to find the egg. Okay, the entrance wound is right, right here. Oh yeah. So it went in there pretty good, and then the back of it. Oh yeah. Completely blew the turkey apart here. Yeah, you can almost see all the way through it. Um. So we're gonna finish it off. We're gonna use this bad boy, see what she does. Blood chunks. Uh, yeah, that's a big wound. <laughs> oh, look at that. Almost all the way through it. You spin her around. Oh yeah. 
it did go all the way through and it blew up pretty good so that's kind of interesting with that I, I imagine it's because the uh cartridge is bigger i'm not into ballistics so i don't really know much about this but the handgun cartridge the 454 console the bullets a lot bigger than a 308 you know the tip of the bullet on a 308 is pretty small whereas a 454 console you have a big slug it did the opposite of the rifle ammo on the 762 by 39 made a big entrance hole and a smaller exit pretty, pretty clean it's now, a pretty clean shot now too. we're gonna use the 762 and destroy that some again yeah we're gonna completely obliterate this thing so Take a look at that. Oh yeah. That is a lot of damage. Anybody want turkey for breakfast or dinner? <laughs> All right. Um, Thanksgiving dinner came yeah. early this year. <laughs> yeah. It's not um, a very good one. No, not at all. Well, I would say that's probably it for this episode out on the Freedom Range on Freedom and Firearms. Thanks to everybody who viewed our last video. Got us over, what, uh, getting close to 2,000 views. Um, one and a half thousand or so. And uh, make sure you check out our other YouTube channel, The Constitutional Colonials. That's our political discussion. We are going to start uploading these videos as well on that channel. Um, I'd say next week or whenever we're back out here on the range, we're probably going to find something else to shoot at and see how much damage it can take and maybe bring out some different guns besides what we got here. We'll bring them all out, but we're going to bring out probably his AR pistol and whatever else we got, we'll bring them out. <clears throat> maybe a 22 or something. All kinds of different guns. Drop a comment in the comment section below because we want to shoot pretty much anything that we can get our hands on and just see what the... What these guns will do to that uh we're gonna be doing videos here soon there's some breaking news that come out over the week about the doj discussing regulations on ghost guns uh that's an issue and some stuff that uh the president came out with involving the doj and we will talk about that here pretty soon um we're gonna be on a podcast tonight uh caleb graham productions is going to have us as guests on his podcast he's a local um, we, he owns a media company, things like that. He does his own podcast, and he invited us on, and we, you know, we're glad to take that up. So, if you want to check that out, whenever the video is available, we will leave the link to view that video in the description of this video on both channels of ours. And um, I think that's really it. So, our camera guy, Bill, you know, productions manager, whatever you want to call him. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Bill. But he's going to be filling behind the scenes of the podcast. It won't be the full thing because no. it's going to be a couple hour long podcast. He's just going to record, you know, odds and ends here and there and we'll upload it. But to both channels, links are in the description as always. Uh, we're working on moving to a new studio right now. So that's why we haven't been posting on the other channel about any inside videos, so to speak. About So we actually just started a new website. If you want to check that out, the link is in the description as always. It's pretty badass, so you better go check it out. Um, these two guys behind the camera actually worked pretty hard on it yesterday. About seven hours on the website, so better go check it out. Or we're going to come, come find you. you. <laughs> but anyways, uh, we'll see you all in the next video. Probably This will probably be a couple videos for the weekend. And then the podcast behind the scenes for the week. 
So again, we want to thank everybody. Our Facebook page is doing good. Thank you all. Um, we are. Tell them about the giveaway too. Yes. Uh, so thanks to everybody. Everything's taken off pretty good. Um, we're starting the nonprofit thing. That's going well. We'll update everybody once we get started. More on that. And uh, on Facebook right now, we're just under a thousand likes. When we get to a thousand. We're doing an ammo giveaway. 300 rounds of 762 by 39 or like 60 rounds of 9 mil, 60 rounds of 308, and 100 rounds of 556. So, last thing the giveaway, you know, we'll do more giveaways in the future, but right now we're starting out small because, you know, we're still small. Um, we're not going to get too crazy with them because some of this ammo we can't even find ourselves. If anything, we'll have to order it online. But, you know, like 9 millimeter, not going to find that in stores unless we drive an hour away. Which is all right, but if we can get it in the store versus waiting a week online, you know, so be it. But I guess we'll find out what we need to buy, whoever wins and whatever they choose. Yes, if things take off really good, if everybody helps us out, I can definitely assure you that the giveaways will be great in the future. We're talking maybe possibly even giving away guns. You know, that's something that we really want to do and help give back to the people. And as long as you guys help us out, we'll be glad to help everybody else out as well. So thank you all for supporting our channel or our Facebook. And um, yeah. Join the FPC, join the GOA, and make sure you keep your rifle by your side and carry on. Exactly. We'll see you guys next time on the Freedom Range.